Known as one of the captains of industry, along with Andrew Carnegie and J.P. Morgan, John D. Rockefeller was the most successful and dominant during the Second Industrial Revolution. He revolutionized business by utilizing horizontal integration, which modeled many other industries that rose in the future. His company, Standard Oil Trust, controlled 90% of the oil refinery business in the world and provided millions of Americans with a plentiful and cheap source of light. Rockefeller was born on July 8, 1839, into a large family in upstate New York. His parents were William Rockefeller, a con man, and Eliza Davison. At age 16, he became a bookkeeper. Much of his job involved negotiating with barge canal owners, ship captains, and freight agents, which eventually turned him into the successful businessman that he became. In 1859, Rockefeller began a produce business with Maurice B. Clark. The company, which they called Clark and Rockefeller, made small profits in the beginning, but had exploding business soon when the Civil War came around as the Union called for massive amounts of supplies. When the Civil War seemed to be coming to an end, Rockefeller looked toward refining crude oil in order to keep turning large profits. The federal government had been subsidizing oil prices, increasing the price from 35 cents a barrel up to $13.75, which attracted many enthusiastic prospectors. Rockefeller began an oil refinery in 1863, which he shared with Clark. He ran his differently than many of the other refineries, as 60% of the oil product was kerosene, and the byproducts were usually dumped into the rivers. Rockefeller used the byproduct as gasoline to power his refinery and sold the rest as lubricating oil, petroleum jelly, paraffin wax, and tar, allowing him to gain larger profits than his competitors. By 1868, Rockefeller controlled the largest oil refinery in the world and started the base of the Standard Oil Company. In 1870, Rockefeller completely cut ties with his previous business partners and formed the Standard Oil Company. It quickly expanded and used modern railways to make profits across the country. Rockefeller's efforts brought Americans cheap kerosene and other oil byproducts. Oil light that used to only be available to the wealthy can now be purchased by the middle class. Rockefeller would bout his competitors with less efficient oil refineries and replace it with the company to benefit Standard Oil. This technique was called horizontal integration, which was by far the most successful in American history, and Standard Oil was replaced with Standard Oil Trust. Fairly soon, Standard Oil Trust controlled 90% of the world's oil refining industry, and while they didn't slowly lose their complete dominance to Russian companies and after the invention of the light bulb, Rockefeller opened a new European market and used gasoline to use as fuel for automobiles which had previously been seen as a waste product, to continue the extremely successful Standard Oil Trust. However, the trust was essentially dissolved when the Sherman Antitrust Act of 1890 was passed, and officially separated in 1892. Rockefeller attempted to bounce back from this major setback by transporting ore. While this wasn't as successful as Standard Oil, Rockefeller still retired with over $58 million in investments, or over $2 billion in current times. He also had a net worth of $405 billion at the time of his death. What makes this achievement even more impressive is the fact that Rockefeller also struggled with anxiety, stating that all the fortune that I have made has not served to compensate me for the anxiety of that period when he was growing his oil refining business through the 70s and 80s. John D. Rockefeller deserves to be in the A-Push Hall of Fame, not only for single-handedly becoming the richest man in the world, but also for creating a trust using horizontal integration that provided millions of Americans with cheap and affordable oil light, finding use for byproducts, continuing a successful business even after the invention and use of the light bulb, and dominating the American and worldwide market.